Welcome back to Tools and Track. My name's Jim Davidson. And I'm Tom Burgo. And tonight it's time for a big break. It's only a game so put a real good fight. I'm gonna be snickering you tonight. Some people may say that we are alienating the 18 to 30 demographic in our YouTube channel you're calling, but I don't know, who doesn't who doesn't recognise 80s game shows? So what are we doing today? Oh, hi! Um, today, we're going to swap the standard R53 uh, calipers and discs to some big bastards. Yeah. Budweg, four pot, a lot more stopping power. Is that, is that something that's necessary in R53? Are they pretty, pretty weak normally? Or? They're not weak, but after doing a couple of track days, you find that they die quite quickly. I've not got the best discs and the best pads. That would help, certainly would help. But going bigger, much bigger as you'll see, it, it's well worth it. Standard caliper, there was a bigger option. Some people go to the R56 setup, which gives you a lot more stopping power. But I decided to skip that stage and go right up to the bigger ones. So, standard calipers, nothing fancy, nothing special about them. We have an Allen bolt retaining the disc in. Um, I believe on some of them it is a Torx bit, but on this one it seems to be Allen. Um, yeah, cover, cover. Just, if you could open the can and just pour it over, just do that. <laughs> but yeah, just everything, absolutely everything, because I'm sure, like mine, it's been on for a fucking age. With two bolts at the back, 16 mil, top and bottom, which hold the whole caliper assembly onto the upright. And then it's just take off the hose. Um, if you can do it fairly quickly, you shouldn't lose too much fluid. But if you do, we can show you bleeding them at the end. What we're going to do here, lovely viewers, is do a full strip down. Now, you don't need to take the caliper off the carrier normally, but we're going to demonstrate all parts of stripping down these brakes, just in case a big brake upgrade isn't actually what you're doing. Right, this should be loose enough now. Hopefully, get them out. Worth pointing out, these don't need to be fully removed in order to get the caliper off the carrier, they just need to be clear. So before you can take the caliper off, you need to take the retaining spring out, which is as simple as that. Slide off, give me access. <laughs> he says, not convincingly. No, not convincingly. No! Get that out. What you do have, and what I should have done first, brake wear sensor will also need to be popped out. Just like that. Because we're changing the whole brakes, I'm just going to brake it here, take the hose off, it goes, 11 mil spanner, we'll possibly get some leaking fluid now, it doesn't seem to be much coming at the moment. Right, so then you're on to the carrier, which is two 16 mil bolts, which I've already loosened slightly, the right way, 16 out, last but not least, is the allen bolt retaining the disc in, if, like I'm hoping, you can hold it, and that one not too tight, but if not, put a couple of studs in, use a nice big bar, to hold it still, while you turn that out. And the job's good. Alright John, let's talk <laughs> about putting the red. So this is the... <laughs> I know, yeah. seriously, after the episode, go and have a look for Big Break, it was an amazing game show. Moving on. This is the old hose that's come off Teeny. Now, uh, this is obviously a bit more upgraded than you may find on a stock R53. I presume these are aftermarket as well, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, you will find this is the fitting that goes onto the brake, and this is a fitting that goes onto the copper lines that go back to the master cylinder. These will probably be the same on whatever brake upgrade you will do. However, this guy, this is going to be different. Don't think the new one's a banjo, but check with whatever brakes you're using. As a result, what's most likely going to have to happen is if you're going for a substantially bigger brake upgrade, you may have to get new lines as well. What we've done is quickly attach that one to try and stop losing as much brake fluid as possible. But now you can see the slight difference in size. Try and clean everything up that you can. Obviously the disc is going to be sitting on that. It's not too bad just to rub down, but get a wire brush in. Failure to do this, lovely viewers, 
can be a contributing factor to wheel wobble and vibration. Um, before you fit them, and to get all your greasy fingerprints and marks off it, that on, line up whatever studs you've got, obviously the four on the mini here. Retaining screw goes in. It's sometimes oh, advisable to check your threads, check the head, check everything on it, because it's sometimes easier and cheaper just to change them. So after test fitting the Budvig brakes, uh, the caliper, the disc, the dust catcher, vent, I don't even know what that's for. Dust guard. It's a dust guard. It doesn't do much. To be honest, that's why your wheels get black. But anyway, this edge just needed a slight manipulation. Tickle. A tickle with a very small hammer. It is a very small hammer. Oh, bless. Oh, it's cute. It really didn't take a lot. The nap. In there, like so. So just in here, when I put the bolt in, this bit needs a little tickle just to clear. It doesn't involve anything other than just a wee tap with a hammer. Bend it back a bit, job's a good one. Sixteens, check the bolts. If they're a bit knackered, then of course, change them. The only other thing you need to remember to do is your little brake wear sensor. That clips back in. Right about there. Now previously that was on to the bleed nipple. I'm not sure if it's going to go onto this one as easily. Oh, exactly as they designed. Start tightening it all back up, 16's back up. Tighten, 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 tighten. Just a bit of difference. Side matters. <laughs> yep, dirty hands over my nice clean calipers. Now I want to bleed the brakes. There we go folks, uh, rather than boring with how to bleed brakes, um, let's just skip to the episode here and that will tell you the effective way of bleeding, blah, 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 blah. bleeding brakes. Bleeding brakes. If you have got any questions, hit us up in the comments below. Don't let big brakes snooker you. Oh, sorry. See you next time, thanks for watching. Yeah, bye. I'm gonna be snookering you, snookering you tonight.